Hello people and welcome or welcome back to a news review. For this week we have relatively little new content which is probably for the best in my opinion because the past weeks have all been gas for a good while and this is a good chance to recoup the diamonds that many of you probably used to pull for the black gold cards. If you're a new returning player I do recommend you check out my new player guide it'll help you better understand what I'm saying in the video. As always open up the patch notes link in the description if you want to follow along. Additionally, I'm trying out a new thing where I buy a guild stage for every 10 subscribers I hit, which will give you a diamond if it's your first time clearing it. Thank you so much for 430 subscribers. The next milestone will be at 440 subscribers, so subscribe and also join the guild. Code in the description if you want to participate in that. I'll also be announcing why to do that on our Discord server, so hop in there if you want to be updated as well. First off, we have a new ultimate card. Uh, go explore Hey Jaja and Earth Beast. Uh, this card's active is CD7, release lock skills of beast leader and uh, Heijaja members, not all beasts, that's a typo I did. Uh, if there are three or more Heijaja members, the character's skill CD-2 and for unknown attack bonus plus 80% for combos made. Heijaja members and beasts attack times 2.5 and ignore duet, trio, quarta, and quinta elemental shield. This card is fine, but overlaps with uh, Nero quite a bit since Nero's first and second skill combined give the functionality of unlocking uh, plus, you know, all the other status effects that she ignores or, you know, I guess, clears from uh, your character and a quintet board that can be fully dissolved. So this card looks like it was made because of Nero, because of the Earth Beast and that whole thing, but it just completely overlaps with, uh, you know, Nero's skills. Uh, next, in a rather rare scenario, we have another new ultimate stage card. This one is a light human, um, Bumble Rider Scarlet, uh, CD6. Going around at heart, runestones, and runestones of human and elf attributes can be dissolved singly uh, or in groups of two or more in the first batch. By dissolving all runestones in the first batch, team attack times two and damage ignores anti runestone shield. Uh, ignoring anti rune shield is rather rare for light humans, this being the third ever card to do so, but the condition for it is kind of strict, needing a rainbow team or another card to assist in fulfilling it, making this card not that good. Lastly, we have Ashley and her challenge stage. This is technically not even a new card since it was given out to newbies a while ago, and I did go over its skills previously. This is also a bad card, so I will not go over it again. Uh, if you are really interested, you can go like dig through the previous news review videos. Uh, I or even just like look at it in game. I'm pretty sure like if you you can find this card like as a potential ally because this card is in the game. But this is just a bad card. I'm not going over it again. You're probably never using it. Uh, <laughs> Uh, for ranking of the free cards this week, they all kind of suck, but that's fine since you can take this week to do some farming of other stuff instead. Moving on to the celebration events, the returning ultimate card this time is the Dark God Zeus, a card that I have never used or seen be used, so you're good to beat the stage once and walk away. Uh, that's it for this week's news review, that was really short. Uh, leave a like if you liked it, comment below if you have anything to say, and subscribe if you like in general, it really helps the channel out, and I'll see you next video. See ya.